Another take on the revolve tool in Rhino found in the surface menu is called the rail revolve. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. Now the rail revolve tool is similar to the revolve tool in that it will let you take a curve like this and revolve it in a circular way to create a shape except that you're not limited to the 360 degree even revolve. The reason for that is you create a separate rail curve. So I'm going to create one out here like this. Just sort of a random shape. We'll move it up here. Now then, here we have our rail curve, which is the guide. Then the curve to actually be revolved. To show you the difference quickly, I'll start with a normal revolve. Our revolve axis, press OK. We'll move this to the side. So there we have our almost pepper shaker type shape. Now, in this case, let's highlight both of these. Surface, rail revolve. Select profile curve, that's this one. Select rail curve here. Start of revolve axis. I'll just go from the center straight down. And let's see the difference. Pretty big difference. As you can see, this one has been revolved, but according to my rail curve shape. Allows you to make a much more complex shape than the standard revolve tool. So again, this can be a way to make some pretty interesting shapes, some pretty exact shapes if I wanted sort of a complex architecture or table leg type look. Rail revolve, profile, rail. Now let's take a look at this one. Again, you're not limited to the circular 360 degree shape of the standard revolve.